Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at this pen, uh, which is a prototype sent to me by Wancha. Um, it has some definite interesting stuff going for it. For example, this is relatively affordable Rushi, uh, which a lot of people find interesting, but it's typically very expensive. On this pen, it's a bit more affordable. Now, this being a prototype, I don't have a box to show you. I received just the pen. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's start. I'm dreaming of the dream pen. Okay, um, so the the Wencher dream pen. Let's let's talk about the pen, and then after that, I'll, I'll I'll show you all the pen parts in detail. Forgive me if I look down, but I I I review a lot of pens, so I have some notes here. Kickstarter project. Kickstarter is well met, so the 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 goals are met. Uh, and what do we have here? An Arushi pen. And an interesting Arushi pen because it's fairly affordable. So uh, this happens to be the Vermilion Arushi, just like, say, the, the, uh, the Namiki Emperor. Um, but there are other options. There's Akatamanuri, there is a yellow now, there's a purple now, which they've added recently. So there are definitely some interesting options if you don't like this, this Vermilion red. Um, 18 karat gold number 6 nib. There are other nib options too. Uh, so the 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 uh, gold 18 karat gold nib, as on this pen, is an upgrade which you you pay for. Um, it's an ebonite pen, so an ebonite body with urushi on top of it, uh, so covered with urushi, urushi section as well, and in this case a matching red feet, which I'll show you a close up in just a sec when we go over the pen parts. Um, so the urushi model like this would be four hundred dollars. Um, and then um, it, it, it depends, the total price depends a little bit on, on what nib material you, you, you pick. Of course, the, the biggest interesting thing here, and I'll cover that a bit in mid board detail when I go over what I like about and don't like about it, is that it's surprisingly affordable Urushi. Uh, no one has really been able to offer Urushi at this price, uh, so th that fascinates me. Um, why, why can this brand do it and, and other brands cannot do that? Um, having said that, uh, it, the, the company says it's, it's all uh, Japanese Urushi, so not, not done in China or anything. It's, it's, I'm only saying that because sometimes they do that to, to lower the cost. Apparently it's all done in Japan, so for some reason Wancha can, can do it more cheaply than, than other brands can. Interesting pen. We need to see it in a bit more detail. So let me go over the parts of the pen and then we'll do writing samples and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, let's have a look at the Wancha Dream Pen in a bit more detail. Um, there's not necessarily a whole lot of detail to show off because it's, it's all this, this familiar Urushi. Um, but it, it, it is an interesting pen, so let's let's go over the, the, the parts. Um, top of the cap here you can see the finial, it's all the same material, same lacquer, uh, and the same applies to the end of the barrel. So there's not that much to show there. Uh, there's no real features on the pen, like, 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 I don't know, patterns or clips or whatever, because it's a, it's a clipless model, it's, it's all the, the, the same Urushi lacquer. And that's not a bad thing, all I'm saying is there's, there's not a whole lot for me to show you beyond this. I like the shape with the, 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 the sort of classic cigar shape. Um, I think that's quite nice. The, uh, the cap unscrews, so ebonite inside there, ebonite and ebonite threads. Just put the cap out of the way. Uh, here we have that 18 karat nib, it's unmarked, it's a Jovo nib um, section tapers down, then flares out just a tiny bit. Uh, all that is um, is ebonite as well. And inside here is a converter, so cartridge converter filled pen. Uh, can you eye dropper it? I wouldn't because the the metal threads there. Uh, but nice converter, holds a decent amount of ink, so it's just the way it is. Um, nice, as I said, nice shape. I kind of like it. It's it's not huge. It's not small. It's just a nice pen size, I think. Something I particularly enjoy is that for this uh, Vermilion Urushi pen, they also picked a uh, red ebonite feed. Ebonite feed is always nice. It just 
has very good uh, conduction properties, so the ink typically flows very well. And although this red is not the same as the uh, Rushi red, um, at least it's red and not just black, uh, which I think makes for a nice, um, um, yeah, a nice consistency in, in color. The threads are black, and I think that's simply because I'm not sure what would happen if you were to lacquer threads, if that lacquer would, would come off or something, um, but uh, that, that's just the way it is. Cannot be posted, at least not really reliably, uh, without the cap popping off like that, so that's something you have to take into account. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you is one of the interesting properties of um, Rushi is that it it tends to change color a bit over time. So this is the Vermilion Urushi, and this Namiki Emperor is the same Urushi uh, color. So when this pen was new, and I got this pre-owned, so I didn't have it at that stage, but I have seen these brand new, they are this color. And then over time, as they're exposed to light and uh, your hands, etc. Uh, they tend to change color a bit and you uh, you definitely get a, uh, a color change, uh, which I don't mind so much. It, it, it gets, I'm not sure we should really call this a burgundy or something, but it's, it's it, it definitely changes color. Um, and for the record, these threads are lacquered, so I guess it is possible, um, but just, just, just at general interest. So expect that if you were you to buy this pen in this color, you, you will see a, a slight change in color over time. Okay, let's see how the pen writes. So here we have the... Uh, dream pen in the uh, vermilion finish. Um, this is the uh, uh, medium nib 18K. And the ink is a Schaefer Scrip Red, which I thought was a nice match to the color of the pen. Writing, Jovo nib. If you've used those, you kind of know what to expect. Uh, writes well. Nicely tuned, nice and smooth. Not the smoothest nib I've ever used, but absolutely not the the the, the, the um, scratches or feedback is. It's 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 really quite nice. Fast writing. Works well. No real skips, so that's quite nice. Okay. Wetness, as I said, it's pretty well tuned. No gusher, but not super dry either. Line variation, as always, be very careful. Worked well, and tiny bit of line variation to it. Ebonite feed keeps up well, so that's quite nice. Those of you who enjoy that, you can make it right in reverse, upside down writing, <clears throat> and that works well. Uh, you get a, 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 a finer line for sure, so I would say you take this from a medium to a good fine, maybe even extra fine. And it's, it's still quite smooth. Sometimes they get a bit scratchy, but this is actually quite nice. So, not bad at all. I would say that that is all we need to see as to writing. So, the end of the writing sample. Let's see what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, so what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, there definitely is stuff to like. Um, first of all, it is a nice pen. It is a slightly larger pen. So if you like bigger pens, that's this is definitely one to consider. Um, it does have a gold nib, or you can buy it with a gold nib, I should say. A standard option is steel, but you can upgrade to 14K, or in this case, 18 karat gold which is nice. Um, an ebonite feed is nice. I also like that they, they did use a red ebonite, so it is it kind of matches the pen. I think all of that is quite nice. But of course, by far, the biggest attraction of this pen is that it's a Rushi, and it's affordable Rushi at that, and that is not so easy to come by. 
many Urushi pens that I have seen start at four figures and go way, way up. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's an inexpensive pen, but relatively speaking, I don't think it's that terrible. So in that regard, I, I do think this pen has some nice stuff going for it. Uh, it's definitely a, a comfortable model to hold, uh, so I, I see its advantages. Things I don't like about it so much. It is a cartridge converter filled pen. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the, the very nice uh, large Japanese pens uh, like, uh, say, um, uh, the, the Namiki Emperor and such uh, have um, that one-way shut-off valve system, which means it's basically an eyedropper pen but with a valve that you can open up to regulate ink flow. It would be great if this pen would have that, but that would probably also drive up the cost of the pen. Uh, and as I said, part of it, part of the appeal here is that affordability. It is ebonite, it is a rushi, uh, that's all great. Um, one thing I do find, and I don't have one to show you, but it is rather reminiscent of a Yukari Royale, uh, which you'll have to look up because I don't have one, um, but in shape and as I understand it's size, it's, it's definitely close. So that is something to consider. Um, but if you don't care, then it's definitely an affordable Rushi pen. Final thing I wanted to say was that for some reason this pen screams post me uh, to me and it, it doesn't post. Not necessarily saying that you should, uh, because it is a lacquer pen, you don't want to damage the, uh, the lacquer, um, but it simply doesn't post. So that's something to bear in mind, especially because it's so light. I wouldn't mind posting this a bit deeply and having that just that extra length and a little bit of growth. I think that would be nice, but it doesn't post. Okay, so there you have it. What I like about it, what I don't like about it. As always, measurements and high resolution pictures will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. A very kind thank you to Wancher for lending me the pen. I appreciate that. It is your prototype, so thank you for the, uh, for the, 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 the trust uh, in me. Guys, I hope this was useful. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.